السلام علیکم گڈ مارننگ نمستے سر سری اکال بونس دیاس مائی نیم از راجا سلیم اختر ویلکم ان دس نیو ویڈیو ریمارکس فار بائی سیکشن میتھڈ As you know, bisection method is also called interval halving method or Bolzano method or binary section method or binary search method. Number one. the stopping criteria of bisection method is is of any of the following four types number one the length of the interval a comma b after n iterations is less than or equal to tolerance error epsilon that is b minus a over 2 raised power n less than equal to epsilon from this we can obtain the number of iterations in needed in the bisection method to obtain an accuracy of tolerance error epsilon is given as log 10 b minus a over 2n less than equal to log 10 e this can be written as
लाग टेन बी माइनस ए माइनस लाग टेन टू रेज पावर एन लेस एन इक्वल टू लाग टेन ई बेस टेन ई दिस इज इक्वल टू लाग टेन बी माइनस ए माइनस लाग टेन ई लेस एन इक्वल टू लाग टेन टू रेज पावर एन दिस इंप्लाइज लाग टेन बी माइनस ए माइनस लाग टेन ई लेस एन इक्वल टू एन लाग टेन टू दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एस एन ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू लाग टेन बी माइनस ए माइनस लाग ई लाग एप्सिलान डाटा ई एप्सिलान लाग एप्सिलान टेन ओवर लाग टेन बेस टेन टू आर इट कैन बीटन एस एन ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू लाग बी माइनस सी ओवर एप्सिलान ओवर लाग टू बेस टेन बेस टेन सेकेंड क्राइटीरिया स्टार्टिंग क्राइटीरिया द रिलेटिव चेंज of attrition xn minus 1 xn is less than or equal to tolerance error epsilon that is xk minus एक्स के माइनस वन मैग्नीट्यूड पवर एक्स के मैग्नीट्यूड लेस एन इक्वल टू एप्सी नंबर थ्री स्टार्टिंग क्राइटेरिया नंबर थ्री द फंक्शनल वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एन इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू टू द टॉलरेंस एरर एप्सिलान डेट इज एफ ऑफ एक्स के मैग्नीट्यूड लेस देन इक्वल टू एप्सिलान This condition may be misleading. I leave on you to find a counter example. Criteria four: the number of attritions n is greater than. are equal to a predetermined number say n number 2 look at the graph graph of f of x this is x axis this is f of x or y axis this is region o 
consider the interval a to b here value of f of a is negative here the value of f of b positive sign changes from negative to positive the graph of the given function which is real and continuous crosses the x axis at this point this will be our root situation or scenario 1 one root exists as shown in figure if f of a f of b product less than 0 number 3 the graph this is x this is f of x another graph here x f of x suppose the graph of the curve is this type interval suppose is here A comma B in this situation and in another graphs you can see alternatively this this point for example A this point B here sign negative negative positive positive if the function f of x does not change the sign between two points a and b in both figures then there may not any root because this curve in this interval not cross the x-axis there may not be any root of for the equation f of x is equal to 0 between the two points a e and b no root exists this scenario if f of a f of b not less than equal to 0 see another scenario Number four. Suppose the graph of the function is of the form. This is A point. This is B point. Interval A to B. X and f of x origin here if the function here this function changes the sign maybe here positive here negative changes the sign sign between the two points more than one root for the equation f of x may exist between the two points A e and B more than one point may exist 
if f of a f of b less than zero the technique uh, for finding the other root is called deflation you can see another graph Number five. This is a graph of the function f of x is equal to x square. This is x axis, y axis is yeah, f of x axis. Origin. Here interval bracketing cannot be made, but single root exists here. That cannot be bracketed. Also, I gave you another example where the sign changes, but given equation has no root. See a graph in this scenario. Here the equation f of x is equal to 1 over x is equal to 0. The equation f of x is equal to 1 over x is equal to 0 has no root. But changes the sign. Take for to see the change in the sign. X A is equal to minus two, B is equal to three. And you see that f of a, f of b less than zero. Algorithm for finding the bisection method already I have described you. You can choose okay, sir. interval halving techniques or next approximation. Absolute relative approximate error also you can find. Remember all these things. Advantage of the bisection method, also you already know that. One advantage, the bisection method is always convergent because this method brackets the root. This method 
गिव अ गारंटी टू कन्वर्ज हाफ ऑफ द इंटरवल इंटरवल हार्विंग टेक्निक्स ए यूज इन दिस मैथड वन कैन गारंटी द एरर इन द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द इक्वेशन इट्स ड्रॉबैक कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ द बाई सेक्शन मैथड इज स्लो बिकॉज इट इज सिंपली बेस्ड ऑन हार्विंग द इंटरवल you can observe it by solving the examples another drawback if one of the initial guess is closer to the root it will take large number of iterations to reach the root 